Hello riders, I'm Pavlin from Motorcycle Adventures. I hope you had a successful riding season, you're back home safe, your motorcycle is stored in the garage and now you're looking for a new adventure or planning your next trip or just looking for a new information in internet. So we're gonna talk today about the difference between visor and googles or riding with visor or googles, especially in the city. So visor versus googles. There are many helmets like this. You can just easily take off the screws, the visor and replace it with googles. So now you have a, a new style or a helmet ready for off-roading. I have seen many guys riding in the city with this type of helmets using googles. Me myself tried a couple of times and uh, I find out for me it's a bit difficult to ride in the city with googles. Today I'll try to explain why. Just to let you know this is my personal opinion. I am not pretending to be an expert and my opinion is just my opinion. Please do not believe on everything you can see on the internet. Try for yourself, prove for yourself and don't do it before you are 100% convinced that it's right and it's worked for you. This is just my advice. Ok, riding in the city with googles. As I said, I have seen many guys do it. I did it also. But what I find out, when I'm riding with googles, I don't have this type of visibility. I'm losing somehow a part of my visibility, especially on the side. The Googles are made for riding off-road, motocross or enduro, or maybe super moto. On those type of terrains, you don't have to worry about the traffic. You don't have to worry about the fast car coming from the left or the kids coming from the right. So you don't need to worry about your side view. This is the most important in, in these Googles. You don't have the same side view. When you're riding on the track, when you're riding on the motocross track, for example, you're focused 90% of the time, you're focused on the track in front of you. You know perfectly the track, you know every corner, every curve, every jump, you know everything. So you don't need to worry about anything else. When you're riding uh, enduro type, in the forest, for example, or whatever, it's the same story. You don't have to worry about the traffic, you don't have to worry about the things around you. You're focused on your track, you're looking about 25-30 meters in front of your bike and you're riding fast and that's all. When you're riding off-road or enduro, you need a, a better airflow. That's why the Googles are perfect for that. So the air could come from everywhere around and uh, another one, uh, very important part is with the Googles, you never get foggy. So if you close your visor, if you're riding with a visor and close it just for a couple of minutes when you're riding in the forest, it will be foggy everywhere and you cannot see anything. With Googles, it's not gonna happen. Another one very important part is that the Googles are easy to clean. So you can just take it off and wash it, wash it and you'll be ready for the next track. That's all. With the visor, it's a different story. Uh, also, the, 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 um, the lens of, of the Googles are very cheap. You can replace it or you can use this small lens just to clean it and, or replace it with new one. With the visor, it's a different story. If you scratch it, you need to replace it. Sometimes it's very difficult to find the proper one for your model and maybe you have to change the whole helmet because of the visor. Or uh, another one thing is, if, if you break your visor, if you're on the track, you, you have nothing. With the Googles, it's easy. You can keep a spare lens with you and you'll be fine. As I said at the beginning, riding in the city with Googles could be dangerous. You risk your life, you risk the life of the others. I'm gonna show you now a couple of pictures, some short movies and, <laughs> and one diagram made by me to prove my theory. And once again, it's just a theory. You have to prove it for yourself. When you're riding with Googles, especially in the cold weather, you're freezing, the air coming from everywhere, around your nose, around your chin. It is also very noisy. It also limits your side view. Every time when I have to turn left or right, I have to turn more because of the limitation of the Googles. It could be dangerous. With the visor, it's a different story. 
you can use your sunglasses you can open it when it need when you need more air or close it when you don't need it the view is much better especially on the side we have a, a wide angle and this is a perfect example of what you can see with the visor and how limited it is with the goggles how open the visor is how narrow the goggles are another one example with visor with goggles and of course the drawing I hope this will help okay so that was all from me for today tell me what you think and don't forget ride safe see you somewhere ciao